you need gain money to do things on White Oak Stables, like buy and care for horses. To make money on the game, you'll need to do well in shows. Knowing your horse's best event and rider, rider settings is key to your showing success. Let's go to your account. Scroll down on your account page until you see these six buttons. To find the event your horse is best in, make sure your horse is tacked up and click Enter Shows. Scroll down on this page to see the search options. Leave circuit and event as they are, and select your horse's level or grade as it's commonly called. If you're unsure of your horse's grade, you can check on the horse's info page. My horse is C, so I'll select the C option. Click Go. Here you'll see a list of available shows. Click One, Anyone, and click Enter Show. Here you'll see a bunch of options for how to ride the horse. For now, just leave these blank. We'll figure out what to put in these boxes later. Select your horse. I'm going to select my horse, Dream. Scroll to the bottom and click Enter Show. Here you're given the option to view your horse's odds. Click this link. This is a list of every horse entered in this show and the odds they have of winning. Remember that these odds aren't the only thing that come into play when you're seeing how well you'll do in a show, but for now these are the odds that we want to look at. Let's look at my horse, Dream. We find his name on the list and look to the right. It appears that Dream has bad odds in this show. Now that we know our horse has bad odds in a pleasure show, we can look at an odds chart to figure out which event our horse is best in. This is an odds chart. You can find this by doing a photo bucket search for WOS odds chart, or you can find it on several members' account pages. I'll also put a link in the description to this. So here's how you use an odds chart. As you can see, across the top are events, also across uh, down the left are events, the same ones, and in the middle you have a ton of different color-coded odds. So what you do first is look at the column of the event that you entered, which is pleasure. So you've been entered in a pleasure show, and your odds that you got were bad. So you look at the pleasure column, and then look down until you see bad. So once you find your odd, which is right there, you look over to the left to see which event this corresponds with. So as you can see, pleasure, we got bad odds. So we look to the left and see that eventing is right there. What this means is that eventing is your horse's best event. So this chart is very handy in finding your horse's best event. Now that you know your horse's best event, you're going to have to take him out of this show because if you leave him in, he's going to do pretty bad. So let's go to Dreams page, scroll down, and you'll see a little link that says Remove from Show. You want to click this one to uh, remove your horse from the show. Now that we know your horse's best event, it's time to find the rider settings. Remember all those boxes when you went to enter a show? Well, you're going to figure out what exactly to put in those boxes because every horse likes to be ridden a different way. Go to the main menu by clicking the button on the left of any White Oak Stables page. On the main menu, you can click the members link to find somebody who offers lessons. I'm going to go to Cricket's account, 43332, and hit search. There she is. Let's click on her name. We scroll down her page and eventually you see at the bottom is a thing that says this member gives lessons for $50. So it shouldn't be too hard on your bank account. Click go. So you come to the page where it looks a lot like uh, what it would look like when you're entering a show. 
just like when you're entering the show, you leave all this blank, except you pick your horse. I'm going to pick Dream. And you pick the best event. And remember, for my horse I was eventing, you put in whatever it was for your horse. Leave all these blank. And go down to the Go button. You'll get this message, which uh, basically tells you that you'll get a game message when they've finished with your lesson. To check your messages, right over here in the mailbox. And you should get a message pretty quick. We'll wait for ours. Okay, we've received our message back from Cricket called Riding Lesson for Dream. So, click on the message. This is the results of your lesson. Luckily, Cricket has this handy chart on her account that will help you decipher all of this. And now let's go take a look. This is the chart you'll find on account number 43332, which is Cricket. I'm not sure you can find it anywhere else. So, I'll put that number in the description for you to look up. 43332. So, let's look at this chart. Alright, remember in your lesson message, you got a lot of information about how to ride your horse. So, basically, the instructions here correspond to a number on a chart here. So, let's take a look look at the first direction. Their arms are only okay. Now we'll go back to the chart. Look for arms. Right there. Right here you see their arms are only okay. And that corresponds to the number three. So, write this number down. Three. And write it next to arms. So just you can write that anywhere. Now let's go back to the message. The next direction, their legs look odd. Back to the chart, we find the section for legs, and we find their legs look odd. Corresponds to number four. So write down legs four. So you're going to continue on like this, and with every direction, you look it up on this chart, and write down the number. Once you have all your numbers figure out, figured out, it's important to put them in order because the order they are in the message is not necessarily the order they're supposed to be for the settings. So, what you want to do is come over here to your chart and take all the numbers you wrote down for each category and um, order them in the order you see here. So, put the number for mouth first, then speed, reins, crop, arms, legs, post, and stride. And this is your final string of settings. Let's go back to our show page and look in the search boxes and find a show that's at In Our Horse's Best Event. Mine is eventing. And at their level, mine's C. Click Find Shows. Now, we can pick any one of these shows. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick the one with the least entries to try to even it out. Okay, so we're back to our boxes. Again, pick the horse's name on the list. Now, remember those numbers you wrote down? Well, they're coming into play right now. The first number you wrote down was the one for the mouth. Click on the drop-down box. You'll see that there are a number of options here. Now, the number you wrote down for mouth is the number of the option you're going to pick. So if you wrote down the number 1, you're going to pick gentle bit. If you wrote down the number 2, you pick the second option, slight bit. If you wrote down number 3, you pick firm on bit. And if you wrote down number 4, you pick hard on bit. My horse happens to be number 2, so slight bit. Next, look at your number for speed. This will be the second number in the string of numbers you have written down. My horse has number 4 in this spot, so I go down to the fourth option and click fast pace. You continue this for every box and just follow the numbers. This eventually becomes a very quick process as you get used to it. And then enter show. Now as you can see when we go to view odds, your horse 
not only has excellent odds, but it also has the proper rider settings. We're back at the horses page where um, a handy thing to do is edit your horse's name and put in the horse's best event and settings. I type in EV for eventing and the string of numbers. That way, whenever I go to enter a show, the settings will be right there and I won't lose them. Click go to save it. Now you know how to find your horse's best event and settings, so you can do this for every horse you get and you'll be on your way to showing success.